I'm from Puerto Rico. Um, I moved here to the United States, Kissimmee, Florida. I started playing softball when I was about six or seven. I started playing t-ball. I played baseball until I was 12. Then I got told I had to move up to the juniors and my parents said it's about time I moved to softball. I started softball when I was 12 and I'm currently still playing in college now. So how did you originally get recruited from Kissimmee to come play here at St. Petersburg College? I played for a travel ball team, um, like AAU basically. Um, I played for Osceola Overdrive. We had a tournament. Um, one of the previous coaches, his name was Coach Dave, he um, saw me play and was really interested and he uh, initially wanted me to go to State College of Florida. He then moved here and I came for a practice with Coach Bree. Um, she fell in love and she said, listen, we're willing to offer you. Um, would you see yourself moving to Clearwater? And I said, of course. Cool. Now, being a sophomore on the team, you've already had one full year with Coach Bree Myers. You're on your second. What is it like playing under such a great coach like Coach Bree? Oh, I love it. I mean, if you know me, you know me and Coach Bree are really close. Um, she has a great personality. She definitely knows the game. Um, it's great. Like, I feel like I'm playing for someone that uh, really cares for us. So, like, we don't want to let her down. Me, personally, I want to do my best for her all the time. What's the most important piece of advice on or off the field that Coach Bree Myers has given to you? Oh man, fun. Um, I believe um, Coach Bree has always told me, regardless of the situation, something good comes out of it. So look at the positive. She smiles, she has fun, and she lets things go. So she's a great, great role model. I really appreciate having her as my coach. So you're the catcher of the team. How did you decide to play that uh, very important position on the softball team? Um, I love to speak. I'm really good with my words and um, communication for me is very important. And as a catcher on the field, you get to see everything. So I believe the way I am, I can lead my team and let them know where every play is going. You're in the game all the time and that's what I want to do. What are your plans after graduating from St. Petersburg College? Uh, my plan as of right now is to attend out of state. Um, I have an offer from Cumberland University in Tennessee. So if everything goes well, I can probably see myself living in Tennessee. So still playing softball? Yes, that's the plan. Two more years of softball and uh, continue with my education and then go for my master's from there. Very nice. And it's my understanding you have a twin sister on the team. Yes, how, I do. How is that playing with your sister? Oh, it's great. I think it's like a best friend on the field. I, I, it's tough at times because like I want to yell or something and she keeps me on my toes, but um, it's an experience not a lot of people get to have. So I'm pretty grateful. Having a twin sister on the team, what is the biggest difference between you and your sister? I would say I'm loud. I'm a very more um, outspoken. You can tell the difference. I mean, on the field, I'm more like I try to stay more quiet, like I'm more focused. My sister will still bring the fun out of everything. Um, she keeps the team laughing. I sometimes take things too seriously, so she helps keep the spirits up on the team. So your family's still in Kissimmee. Do they ever get to make it out to any of the games here? Yes, uh, my parents are my biggest fans, and I have two brothers there as well. They usually try to come once a week, but lately have been coming to Tuesday and Thursday game because they realize uh, their two little girls will be uh, going out of state soon. How is your season going so far as a team? Um, as a team, we're doing well. I mean, we've had some hiccups here and there, but um, we're, we're coming along great. I mean, um, there's hard times that we push through it, and we're, gonna, we're getting better. What are your goals individually as well as your team goals? Um, individually, I just want to feel like every time I leave the field after every game or practice, I gave it my all. Um, I think if I gave 100%, I did my job. Um, as a group, I think our goal is to keep our heads up and stay positive. We obviously want to win most of our games and make it to state, but um, if that doesn't happen, as long as we know that we tried our best and we learned after every mistake, we succeeded. What advice would you give to a young uh, softball player coming up who wants to play in the collegiate level? I tell them to work hard. I think um, if you work hard, everything will come. I don't think um, talent is always good, but hard work beats talent. So um, work hard and have fun, regardless of the outcome, regardless of the situation of the play. Just give it your all 100% and you will succeed.